Thank you for joining us today on Todd Squad, where we ask South Bend Community School Corporation Superintendent Dr. Todd Cummings your questions. I'm Cooper Vandriesch. Thank you for joining us today, Dr. Cummings. Now, I want to dive right in. With the Texas school shooting still fresh on many people's minds, how do you plan to enhance security at our schools? Well, first, thank you, Cooper, for having me on, and we're really impressed with Todd Squad and the work that you all have done, so thank you. So our top priority is student and school safety. And so with the Texas shooting, we knew that we needed to make sure that we were looking at all of our processes and protocols. But let's back up to the referendum. During the referendum, which is when we ask folks to pay more in their property taxes, we promised updated security cameras, safe and secure entrances, locks that lock in all of our classrooms. And so we're working on that. And so we have a safety and security matrix that includes our safety and security plans. And then when there are incidences, we revisit all of our matrix to make sure that there are no gaps in communication and safety. And so unfortunately, we've had to revisit that a few times this year, but we're constantly trying to make sure that we're closing any loop in student safety. Now, while school buildings are being made safe, for a few weeks ago, a gun was found on one of our buses. How is transportation also being made safer? Sure, I'm so grateful that all of our students were safe, but it did highlight the fact that we need to make sure our buses are safe as well. While we're doing that with our buildings with secure entrances, cameras, additional staffing, we need to make sure that our drivers were trained, they had protocols, we had specifically communication protocols to make sure that all of our students were safe on buses. Now across the country, we've seen hundreds of different protocols in each different school corporation. And one of the biggest things we've heard of is the topic of metal detectors. And what is your stance to that for the corporation? Sure, well I wanna talk about layers of protection. And so we promised during the referendum that we would have additional classroom locks, we would have safe and secure entrances, we would have cameras updated and upgraded. That's one level of security. Then you think about school resource officers, another level of security. So we believe with the levels of security that we have in place, we don't need to get to the place where we have metal detectors. But I also wanna say the other part, students need support as well. We've invested heavily in social workers and restorative justice practices to support our students as well. Now we talked a little bit earlier about transportation and transportation has been one of the most criticized aspects of the South Bend Community School Corporation. Numerous parents have expressed their concern about kids being not picked up, citing and the need for more re reliable public transportation. So what's being done about busing issues? I would say that since I've been superintendent that this is the best transportation has been in probably 20 years. I want to say first thank you to our bus drivers who work so hard every day. Thank you to our director of transportation. Since we moved to a three-tier bus pickup, our complaints have gone down, but I have a dashboard in my office that manages the call center. And so if folks are having specific issues, I encourage them to call the call center or email me, and we will make sure that we get the issues taken care of. And if our transportation systems aren't working, we encourage folks to use Transpo. Middle school and high school students have free access to Transpo. And the local media attention has been given a lot to high school and elementary schools, more regularly than South Bend Middle Schools, when noteworthy things are happening there as well. Um, why do middle school achievements tend to be overlooked? I reflect a lot about how we communicate with our community, and we are trying really hard to make sure that we highlight all the good things, whether it's in Todd Squad, or whether it's in our dialers on Fridays, or whether it's in our social media. We have folks who now scour social media to make sure we're not missing anything, but sometimes we do. Sometimes I hear from parents that you missed a meet. Sometimes I hear that we missed something from middle school. We have a ways to go. We're doing better, and so we want to make sure that we highlight those middle school events. and. Folks can reach out, they can say, hey, this is what happened at our middle school, will you highlight that? And we'll be happy to, but we're working really hard to make sure that we capture all the good things that we're doing. On, on the topic of students, last year the community was informed of a CTE or Career Center. Um, when will we hear more about this Career Center? Hopefully in the next few weeks, this will be part of our long range facility study and hopefully we will be coming out with a career plan after that. I wanna move over to the subject of teachers. Across the nation, the annual teacher turnover rate is just under 20%. How do you plan to increase teacher retention rates? 
That's a great question. Well, our teacher turnover rate is not quite that high. It's not where we want it to be. But I am so grateful for our teachers who are doing the hard work of the district every single day. And so we've tried to make sure that their base salary is competitive. We've added two staff recognition events a year. And so we're always looking for ways to communicate and to reward our teachers. But I can't say enough about how great of a job they do and how happy we are with what they do every day. We also wanna make sure we're communicating better with our teachers. So on Friday communication, on our dialers, we want them to know all the great things that the district is doing, all the great ways we support teachers, and we wanna highlight the great work that they're doing as well. So on the topic of teacher shortage, what do you think is the root of the teacher shortage and what is the solution? Great question. I think there are a number of things that are factoring. I think one, folks retiring. I think number two, there are so few people in the teaching pipeline. Teaching is a tough profession. And right now, it doesn't make a lot of sense to go into a profession where folks aren't happy with what you do. It's all a great deal of work. I'm so happy for the teachers that we have and that they do that hard work every single day for us consistently to reward and recognize our teachers, to make sure that they're communicated with and that we're listening, is hopefully something that will make our teachers happy and want to stay with the district for a long time. You talked about how over your administration a lot of change for teachers, and that brings me to the next question. When your contract is up, do you plan to stay in South Bend? Well, I'm flattered that you would ask me that, and I'm honored. I love my job. I love being in South Bend. At some point, I do want to retire. I want to be a snowbird like other retirees, but right now I'm focused on being here, interacting with students, and really making the district the best that it can be. Is there anything else you would like to add, Dr. Cummings? Well, first, I had a great time on Todd Squad, so thank you, Cooper. Thank you. This is a great time for parents and guardians and grandparents to update your power school information, especially with inclement weather on the way. And then I know this will air near fall break, and I just want to say how grateful I am for our teachers and administrators, all of our paraprofessionals and secretaries and all of our staff, but specifically all of our students. And so I think this is such a great way to interact with our students, but I really want everyone just to have a great fall break. That wraps it up for this edition of Todd Squad. Thank you for joining us today, Dr. Cummings. You can send us your question at the email below. And remember to hit that subscribe button and tap the bell icon to be notified every time there is a new post on SBS TV. For Todd Squad, I'm Cooper Van Driesch.